Hello and welcome to Susie B Living's Moon Phase Gardening Series. So I'm going to take us through the next week coming up. We are going towards the end of January already and days are going to start to get lighter here in the Northern Hemisphere. Thank goodness. Um, so February is quite an interesting month because that's when things kind of start growing again. January is a little bit of a lull, but it doesn't matter because there's still plenty to do. So this coming week is Monday the 22nd of January to Sunday the 28th of January. And I'm just putting my little notes here in front of me up there so I can look at them properly. Um, okay, so Monday the 22nd of January and Tuesday the 23rd of January are both unfavourable days. And an unfavourable day is when um, I don't do any specific gardening at all. I will actually do a little bit of tidying up and cleaning and moving pots here, there and everywhere. Um, maybe a bit of kind of general weeding as well. But it's unfavourable because we're coming up to a full moon. I think it's, it's in about three or four days time. And also the moon is furthest away from the earth. So the energy from the moon is not as strong. And that's why we've got these two unfavorable days. I quite like unfavorable days because it gives me a chance to just do um, a lot of general tidy. So um, yeah, there you go. Unfavorable days. Good, good time also to order things like seeds, um, if you're going to do any potatoes, order your seed potatoes as well. They go very, very fast from the suppliers and, you know, things like that. So Wednesday, the 24th of January, we're on Flowers Day again. And um, I am in including now in my moon phase gardening, I'm also including um, ornamental flowers. So I'm going to quickly take you through what you can do with ornamental flowers. First of all, um, let's just talk about um, uh, flowers that we eat, like cauliflowers and calabrese or broccoli and things like that. I won't be, my next sowing of those um, seeds will be in February um, because I've got quite a lot of calabrese and broccoli on the go. If you want to sow some um edible flowers, then uh, I would be sowing some calabrese or some broccoli now. Just hold off the cauliflower for the moment until February and then that's probably better to do. Okay, so if you're interested in sowing some ornamental flowers, uh, because I also grow a lot of ornamental flowers as well, it's a good time of year to be sowing sweet peas, um, Iceland poppies, um, Cobaya scandens, you know, they call it the cup and saucer plant, um, and also Cleome as well. They're really good to um, start sowing now. You can still sow antirhinums, so snapdragons. They need a very, very long growing period. So I think from sowing to flowering, it takes something like 20 weeks, but you've still got time to sow some if you want to. And you can also start sowing things like hardy annuals, um, Cerinthi, uh, Calendula, Nigella, things like that as well. The other thing that you can also do in the ornamental garden is that you can start to take um, root cuttings from certain plants. And I'm talking about delphiniums, I'm talking about oriental poppies, and I'm talking about things like phlox as well. So you can do root cuttings. Um, transplanting, if you've got any um, bulbs that you forced and you brought inside for Christmas time, like narcissi or hyacinths or anything like that, it's, you can plant them in the garden. If you don't have um, frozen ground, then you can actually transplant them in the garden. And when you do that, um, you can give them a high potash feed if you want as well. Don't cut off the greenery from the bulbs. So just take them outside because that needs to die down. It's like any other bulb. It needs to die down back into the bulb and that is what then produces the flower the next year. If you cut all that stuff up off, off the top, 
you're not really helping matters for the next flowering. Um, weeding and maintenance, uh, any winter bedding that you've got, just deadhead it, you know, like violas and pansies and anything like that, just keep deadheading. Um, you remove the um, old leaves from hellebores because when hellebores flower, you get the flower first and then you get the new leaves coming. So all the old leaves, it's quite a good idea to take all the old leaves off because um, it then stops fungal diseases like chocolate spot or any issues. So that's a good thing to do. You can prune your wisteria if you want to as well this time of year. And you can also start pruning roses as well. So um, watering and feeding, um, any kind of flowering shrubs that you've got in the garden, winter shrubs, like I have a sarcococca and I've got some Daphne's as well. Um, I'm gonna give them a little feed because they're just looking a little yellow. So I'm just gonna give them a little feed. And the last thing to do for your ornamental flowers is check any stored dahlias because if you've got rot coming, it will come very, very fast. So check your dahlias. Okay, that's Wednesday. Thursday on the moon phase calendar and Friday on the moon phase calendar, so that's the 25th and the 26th of January, are both leaves days again. So um, I'm not sowing any more Asian greens or brassicas for the moment because I have enough. But if you do want to sow an Asian green, an Asian, is that what I call them? Yeah, Oriental Asian greens, then a really good one to sow um, now at the end of January is the red stem pak choy. That's a great one to sow um, now. It, it produces, it, it goes, it grows very fast you'll get a really nice harvest from it before it needs to be taken out before it will go to seed um, what I am going to be sowing is I'm going to be doing some herbs so I'm going to be doing cold loving herbs coriander chervil parsley and some chives I'm going to be sowing those they don't need heat to germinate um, but if you want to give them a little bit of heat then great give them a little bit of heat one thing to remember though with parsley seed is parsley produces seed that has a natural um, coating on it that is like a, an inhibitor for um, uh, for germination so if you want you can um, soak your parsley seed I don't bother because I just let it, let, let it just sit in there and eventually it will germinate it just takes a long time to germinate but if you want it quicker, um, soak the seed. Transplanting leaves, um, any little brassicas that I've got that I want to transplant, I, I will transplant um, either into next size pot up or um, I've got some cabbages that I want to go on the allotment. Any lettuce, I'm always transplanting lettuce. So if you've got any lettuce that you want to put into bigger pots or you want to put out under cover, this time of year you have to put it under cover. Um, so in a polytunnel or in a greenhouse or if you've got any kind of polythene cloches, then that will work as well or Asian greens as well. Um, I'm gonna start um, repotting some of my perennial herbs. So I've got some fennel, I've got the um, dark fennel, is it the purple one? Yeah, and the green fennel, and I'm just gonna repot the, pot them up. And I've also got some lovage, lovage as well. I'm thinking about a place to put it in the garden, but I'm not really sure. So I'll, at the moment, I'm just gonna keep it in a pot. So that's that. Weeding and maintenance. Um, I've got my Asian greens to have a look at. I've got my kales to have a look at. Um, and I've got cabbages over the allotment. I went over to the allotment today to just check on things because we're expecting a big storm tonight, overnight, um, and everything looks okay. I'm gonna check on all my lettuce, make sure you take off all the leaves that are um, um, getting moldy. So anything like that, take it off. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back my, I have all my mint in really big pots. I'm gonna cut back my mint and um, take one of the big pots into one of the greenhouses, just so that I get start to get an earlier um, crop of mint. 
and water and feeding uh, only just any seedlings that I've got that look a little bit sad I might just give them a really 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 weak feed of seaweed feed so that's your Thursday and Friday so Saturday 27th and Sunday 28th of January are both fruits days again. So I'm, I'm not sowing anything because I'm up to date with all of my sowing. Um, if you, my next lot of sowing days um, for fruits are going to be in the first week of February. So if you want to hold off and you want to sow with me, and they will be my mainly, they will be my chilies and my peppers. If you want to sow, um, so with me then just wait until the first week of February and I'm talking the 6th and 7th of February but if you don't and you want to crack on and sow some chilies and uh, sweet peppers or capsicums um, then you sow those on the 27th and 28th um, I do them as you if you go back in my videos you'll see that I do them on I pre-germinate them on um, kitchen towel so I don't have to waste compost and it works really, really well. Transplanting. Now, I might have some chilies and peppers to transplant because they're doing really well at the moment. They've got their first set of true leaves and they're actually getting their second set. When they tend to get their second set of true leaves, I then um, transplant them. And I put them, I've got them in tiny little cells at the moment. And then I go, I go up in size to an, a bigger pot. And that's what I mean by transplant. I don't go up to um, bigger pot. I try and go up just in the next size up. So I will be doing that. So if you've got any peppers and chilies that you want to transplant, that's a good time to do it. Um, another thing also is if you want strawberries and you want early, early strawberries and you've got little plants or you've got runners and better, better that they're two year old runners, um, put them in some pots or in some troughs. I'm putting one in hanging baskets and I'm going to put them in the greenhouse and then you'll get an early crop of, um, strawberries. Um, so, and then we come to weeding and maintenance. So, um, if you've got strawberries, it's, it's a great time of, um, year to take off the old leaves. Again, we're really trying to cut down on any kind of diseases that we possibly can. So take rid of, take off all the old leaves, let the new leaves come, um, for your strawberries outside. The other thing you can do um, is you can prune grapevines if you've got grapevines. This is this is the time of year that um, wineries prune their grapevines, so we can prune our grapevines at this time of year as well. Prune any apple or pear trees as well. Um, your autumn raspberries now are finished, so you can cut them down to soil level. That's all done. And also you can prune your black currants and, and gooseberries now is if you want to as well. Um, and that's it. No more. And, and if you want to water or feed anything and you've got citrus and you haven't done that yet, then give them a, um, a winter feed. They will really, really appreciate that. So, um, yeah, that's a quick one this week. It's because we had those two unfavorable days. But that is your week, or that is my week of what I will be doing this week um, on Moon Phase Gardening Calendar. And um, I hope that you might do some things as well that I suggested on the Moon Phase Gardening Calendar. Remember, these videos are just for you to get ahead um, have some kind of schedule that you don't feel overwhelmed and feel as though you've got to sow everything and you've got to grow everything. Um, I'm here to help. So, um, yeah, so thank you very much. I will see you again next Sunday. Um, I will let you know on Sunday whether I'm going to do a full week or a half a week. It all just depends on what's going on and how much is going on. But the busier that I get, I will then start doing two lots of Moon Phase Gardening series um, videos. Uh, and, yeah, give us a thumbs up. I always like that. That's really great. And even better, subscribe. Because if you subscribe, you'll see that all my videos, um, you'll get notifications of when I um, put my videos out. I've got videos in between my last moon, moon phase gardening um, uh, 
schedule, you'll see um, that I was doing my winter radish. I had my purple sprouting broccoli. So it just keeps you up to date with what I'm doing and also the varieties that I'm growing. Won't be long now that I will be bringing out my what I am sowing and growing in February because January has just flown by. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.